news update coming in. Aam Aadmi Party's councillor R.T. Chawla is nowhere to be found. CNN News 18 investigation has tracked the AAP councillor. In fact, uh, we've been reporting from the property owned by R.T. Chawla. This property is also rented out and the terrace is illegal construction. So, the Aam Aadmi Party councillor in question as is, is missing is nowhere to be found. And we have been getting you the latest details on this other property that Anshul Chawla, the AAP councillor, owns and there are several illegal measures that have in fact been identified which were being adopted by uh, Arti Chavla as far as this property is concerned. Anshul breaks down more details in this ground report. Take a look. Arti Chavla, the councillor for Rajendnagar area of the Amadi party has been missing in action for the last three days since the time this entire incident happened where three uh, aspiring IAS officers had to, in, in fact, lose their lives due to the laxity that has been shown by the MCD. CNN News 18 is trying to track down the councillor who was last seen on Twitter putting a post where she had mentioned that she is, in fact, motivating the workers to clean the drains out here in this entire area. The property that you see behind me, in fact, both these properties are owned by Aarti Chavla herself. You can look at the condition of these properties and how much is this property being uh, has been churning out money for this, uh, this particular woman. The basement of this area is also being used as commercial activities, which is definitely illegal. You can see over here that some sort of a clinic has been rented out over here, which is being used uh, as, as a commercial activity over here. Basement generally in this entire area is being used as for the purpose of storage and not to be given out to... Uh, com uh, commercial uh, proper, uh, co commercial activities and this is what happened at the Rouse Coaching Institute as well where the basement of that entire area which was mentioned as a property that was supposed uh, to be uh, uh, to, to be operated uh, to be operated as as a storage space was in fact given to a library and that that eventually led to the massacre that happened where three students had to lose their life both these properties are in fact being owned by her News 18 continues to track down the missing Amade Party councillor Arti Chavla. This is the third property of Arti Chavla that we have reached over here in Old Rajendranagar area. This is on the top floor of this building. That is the third floor of this building. We'll try to get to know if she is present over here or, she, or if she is not. We have been tracing her down for the last uh, few days where she has absolutely seen missing in action. Uh, where is Arti Chavla? This is a big, big question. Since the time this entire incident has happened, she has gone under the radar. No statements have been given to the media. She has not gone ahead and speak, uh, spoken uh, to the students as well. In fact, yesterday in the meeting that was convened by the MCD house as well, she was not present over there. The last she was seen was on a Twitter post where she claimed that she is motivating uh, the MCD workers to actually go ahead and clean the drains or uh, storm drains before the rains happen. But yet again, what happened is for everyone to see. Ma'am, this is Aarti Chawla. Aarti Chawla? Is it property? No, Aarti Chawla is not. Who is the owner? Who was in the debit? No, I don't know. Anil Chawla is a broker and you are here students are rent. How much rent are you here? Uh, 40,000, Approximately 40,000 rupees. So yeah. rent per So as you heard there that this property has been rented out by her. Approximately 40,000 rupees of rent uh, is being collected from here and this is yet again on the fourth floor of a building. Let me now go across to my colleague Anshul joining us live with more details. Anshul, you know, you're getting us details from two properties owned by the Aam Aadmi Party councillor. One of the properties is just 500 metres away from the IS coaching centre where this unfortunate tragedy in fact took place. The Aam Aadmi Party councillor is nowhere to be found but these are several other lapses that have come to the fore with regards to pro properties owned by her. Break down details of both these properties and how this once again raises several questions that the Aam Aadmi Party must come out and answer. Uh, well, this is a clear case of massive corruption that is happening out here uh, in the Rajendnagar area. The councillor herself has uh, has actually owned three properties in this entire area and all these properties are not being 
a claim that we know it it has it is something that has been mentioned in her affidavit when she actually went ahead and uh, fought the elections for the councillors uh, in uh, for the MCD elections in the year 2022. Now these three properties that are out here in the Rajendranagar area, all of them have illegal constructions that have been made on them, starting from the first property that we visited yesterday, which is approximately 500 meters away from this location at which I am standing, that is ground zero, uh, where the entire incident happened. Uh, in that property as well, the basement, uh, uh, the basement is rented out time to time uh, for commercial activities. At this point in time, there was no one, uh, the basement was actually not, not rented out. But apart from that, there are uh, there are constructions that have been done on the top floor of the building that is absolutely, absolutely illegal. No building bylaws ever has made that legal to actually construct rooms on the roof uh, of, a, of a particular building. Apart from that, there is another building that is right next to uh, next to that building, which is yet again 500 meters away from here. In that building as well, all sorts of commercial activities are running from uh, 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 in the in the basement of that building. A clinic is running, which is yet again a commercial activity, which is yet again not allowed on the uh, ground plus one floor on the first floor. Uh, the uh, a restaurant is a uh, restaurant is running over there, and uh, on top of it, there are rooms that have been rented out to students, and in fact. On the top floor, that is on the roof as well, there is another illegal construction. The third property that we visited was actually rented out to three girls who were girl students who were living over there. And that floor is also illegal because that is the top floor, that is the fourth floor. Generally, the building plan that is passed by the MCD, it is ground plus, uh, ground plus three. Uh, but the property that we visited was actually basement ground plus four floors uh, that were made over there. And that floor was, is also said to be uh, illegal. So this is how the Amadi Party Councillor has been operating over here this is her uh, this is a home turf and uh, uh, across this entire area she has three properties that she had brought uh, bought beforehand and all these properties have illegal constructions in them this actually narrates the entire fact that how much corruption is prevalent in this entire area and it is because of this corruption that the situation in this entire area is somewhat like uh, somewhat like this we have been showing this to our viewers for the past three days and there still has been no action that has been taken by the MCD to actually clear the mud over here so that water logging does not happen you can uh, you can see the condition uh, in which this entire area is the councillor lives just 500 meters away from here there is ma massive water logging happens that a day in and day out uh, in this entire area still no action has been taken by her where is Aarti Chavla her whereabouts are still unknown we still do not have any idea where could Aarti Chavla be at this point in time? We have tried to contact her. We have visited her properties out here in the national capital area. In all those properties, those properties have been rented out. In fact, in her affidavit, the permanent address that she had written, that she was not found over there. In fact, that place has been rented out to students uh, yet again. So uh, where is Aarti Chavla? How much money is she actually churning out by illegally uh, renting out her places? Uh, this is a big, big question. We are still trying to uh, track her down. There is absolutely no clue uh, where Aarti Chavla could be. If at all she is in India or if she is not in India. This is also something that has not been cleared either from the side of the Amadi party and definitely not from the side of the councillor herself. Mm. You know what's interesting is and why this is also worrying at the same time is that the three UPC aspirants who lost their lives to that unfortunate flooding tragedy at the basement of you know the coaching institute in Rajendra Nagar the entire library was operating out of the basement which was illegal in the first place and both these properties owned by Aarti Chavla you're telling us there are certain other activities that are going on in the basement Anshul can you tell us a little bit about you know the manner in which the basement of both these properties is being used illegally by the AAP councillor who's missing? Uh, well, yes, uh, the first property as of now that we visited last evening, in that property, the basement was at this point in time not rented out. But what locals told us over there, that generally there is commercial activities that happens in that basement. At this point in time, that basement is legally being used as a storage is what we have been told. Apart from that, the second property that we visited, which is adjacent to that pro uh, property, uh, very much adjacent to that property, in, uh, there uh, the basement was being used as a uh, as a clinic for a, for a doctor. Yet again, no exit routes in that uh, in that basement. No, no, no uh, a way of ventilation that has been made in, in that basement, and that is the precisely the main reason why the MCD has decided that no commercial activity should be allowed in the basement because it can actually put the lives of a lot of people in danger. But yet again, this has been rented out to doctors over here who are using that basement as their uh, as as their clinics and uh, earning money and. Pro and probably giving that money to the councillor as well. So definitely this actually narrates the entire fact that how uh, these people, the councillor of the MCD, uh, the lower, uh, the 